We were really lucky that we had one of the best surgeons uh, in Australia and, and he was fantastic and, and put our mind at ease. Um, he did say that when I was admitted on the Thursday prior that this is this is serious stuff, we need to take it seriously because, um, you know, as a footy player, I've had a few operations before and, and obviously this is nothing that I've encountered um, ever before. And when he said that, it actually really knocked me for six because thinking, well, I'm not in here to have an operation on my arm or a leg, I'm here to have someone drill into my brain. And um, he he did say, look, these, we're going to make two incisions, one to, to release the, the lump and the other one to take a biopsy and get it tested for what it is. And, um, you know, as I said, that, that week was, was intense to, to actually know what, what it was. What did you think about while you were waiting for the result? Did, did you... And I know you're a strange lot of footballers and ex-football. <laughs> I, know, I know you sort of tend to be able to focus and... and debrief and things but did you think about the the what ifs or were you able to turn off from it uh, yeah it's naturally to to think about the what ifs um you know when with any operation and and uh the, the nurses obviously need to give you the worst case scenarios of what could happen and which includes death which mm. includes death yeah and and that was one of them and, and memory loss and you know obviously the lump was in a tricky part of my brain so the list was was quite daunting and and to hear those things um you know, it, it really sort of worried me to think, you know, what what could go wrong and, and uh, in all those things. And but when you come out of it, do they say, oh, we think it's a cyst, we think it's benign, or do they say, look, we've got to write on the test, it could be malignant? Both well, three. yeah, both. He, he The surgeon did say, of all my years of experience, it doesn't look anything dangerous and it, and, and it looks um, you know, benign, but uh, until we know for a fact, I can't give you that definite answer, but he goes, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm confident it's it's nothing to worry about. You look at the kids differently through that time. I, I did. I looked at, I suppose, my whole life differently. Um, you know, with with footy over the years, of of there's there's people that have dropped off the radar with friends or whatever reason. I suppose it looked looked in that little period of in hospital, thinking, you know, all those things don't matter now. Um, all the little issues I had with people don't really matter because this is this is more important and, and life's more important. And it's probably made me realise that. I'm really lucky with what I've got and, and what I've achieved and, and the beautiful family that I have around me. It's hard for anyone to hold on to that perspective of what's important and we all have to remind ourselves. Will you try to? Of course, yeah, and that's that's the yeah. good thing about it, isn't it? It's good to have that sort of, that's one of the silver linings of going through this sort of thing is that it does remind you of that and give you a taste of that and then I guess it sort of helps you to try and hold on to that. Probably doing the second one, we're more aware now that um, it's entertainment and a lot of that is um, because of the fact that they need to make it entertainment. The reality of me as a person is, is not that and I think everybody who knows me or gets to know me sees that pretty quickly. So, um, you know, I just stand firm in who I am and take it with a grain of salt these days.